So, now we will see how to calculate the total energy of a liquid. So, energy is the potential energy and kinetic energy. In the lesson, we will learn the mechanics of fluids. So, fluids are the same as we have to take into consideration the pressure energy also. Pressure energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. Full on the total energy is the sum of mostly total energy. We will learn the potential energy plus kinetic energy. We will learn the potential energy plus kinetic energy. And in the fluids, we will learn the pressure energy. Pressure path on P equal to H rho gene path. So, in this pressure energy, you calculate to find out the total energy of a liquid. That is the calculate to find out. First, one wider tube will water fill. Here is a narrow tube at the bottom of this vessel. In the bottom level, I had a piston. One frictionless piston. Now, what do we do? If we compare it, it's wider. In the tube, it's a narrow passage. It's a very small piston. So, I'm going to push some amount of water inside the piston. बीकर इन द बीकर ले पुश पन वधे प्रेशर चेंज आ गया हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ आर हाउ मच मास ऑफ वाटर यू गोइंग टू पुश इनसाइड बाय दिस आई विल कैलकुलेट द प्रेशर एनर्जी इन द प्रेशर एनर्जी कैलकुलेट पन रहता आर आई कैन से द वर्क डन इन मूविंग द लिक्विड विल बी स्टोर्ड एस प्रेशर एनर्जी दैट वी आर गोइ First, in the friction level, the, this is the axis of the tube. In here, the, in here, I move on. Up. So, how much distance I am moving this? I am moving this uh, at a distance of uh, x. Let V be the velocity and A be the area of cross section. So, the volume of the liquid pushed into the tank. Let V be the volume. You volume of the liquid push on. Really, in here, the move on. Because the volume of the liquid push on. Because this male here, in the water will rise up. Anna, what I told you, this area is very small when compared to this wider area. In the area compared to this area, it is very low. So, the height doesn't consider the amount of height increase. Just you calculate how much amount of volume, how much volume of liquid you are pushed inside. So, volume is equal to area into the distance it is moved. A into the area of cross section of the piston. This is the volume of the liquid pushed inside the tank. And let my um, mass of the liquid pushed inside is equal to mass is equal to volume into density. Volume mass Ax let rho be the density of the liquid. So mass of the liquid pushed inside the tank we have calculated. Now we will calculate what is the work done on moving the liquid or in moving the piston. That work done will be stored as pressure energy. So this work done is equal to force into displacement. How much distance you are move the piston? X the distance moved by the piston. F under the force. We know that pressure is equal to force acting on a unit area. P is equal to F by A. Up F is equal to P A. So we can write this work done in moving the liquid from one distance from one point to another point is equal to P A X. So is the mass is the work done. This work done will be stored as pressure energy. So now pressure energy is equal to Px. Pressure energy per unit mass is equal to divided by the mass. Mass is equal to now Ax rho. Ax, Ax cancel. No? It will be P by rho. This is the equation 1. Simply. No need. So, this pressure energy per unit mass we have calculated to be P by rho. Then, so, if the water solum bodhu, when it is moving, it will be having its kinetic energy. So, if it moves with a certain velocity, in a move, push pan rala, we gain some velocity. But the kinetic energy rukuma, then, because of its height, it will be having the potential energy. So, we will see how will be its kinetic energy per unit mass. Kinetic energy formula in a half mv square the land real kinetic energy formula half mv square by m m m cancel at each remaining is v square by 2 third one by virtue of its height it gains a potential energy so potential energy per unit mass is equal to mgh by m m m cancel at me the inner curve gh so we have seen how will be the pressure energy per unit mass and kinetic energy per unit mass and potential energy per unit mass. Now we will calculate the total energy of this liquid. So total energy is given by the sum of pressure energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy. So total energy E is equal to pressure energy of law P by rho plus V square by 2 
प्लस जी एच दस वे इक्वल इन दस पर टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ दस लिक्विड 